How Koala Lost His Tail, an Australian folktale about sharing work and friendship. Australia lived koala bear. Do you know what a koala bear looks like? Have you ever noticed that some animals have tails? Some, an some animals don't have tails. <laughs> Do you have a tail? <laughs> Today, if you went to Australia, would a koala have a tail? A long tail? In our folk tale today, long, long ago, there were two friends who had long tails. <laughs> tail could bang on things and help him bounce very high. Koala and kangaroo were long-time friends. Koala and kangaroo were long-time friends. Koala's tail was different from kangaroos. In our story a long, long time ago, koala had a beautiful, soft, long tail that koala liked to stroke and cuddle and hold. Koala was so proud of his beautiful, long, soft, and furry tail. Even though they looked very different, Koala and Kangaroo enjoyed being friends. Kangaroo liked how Koala enjoyed his long, soft, and beautiful tail. And how Koala enjoyed being. During this time long, long ago, the water started to dry up and go away. There was a drought where they were in Australia. There was hardly any water left in the wild places where koala and kangaroo lived. The land was getting dry, and the rains wouldn't come. Everyone was so thirsty. Koala complained to kangaroo, I'm so very thirsty, I want a drink of water, but there isn't any. Koala moaned. It is so dry and my tail is not looking as good and beautiful. Kangaroo replied, oh dear koala, I remember my parents telling me that there was a drought when they were little too. Kangaroo consoled koala. But there is hope. Even though there was a drought, my parents, when they were little, found water. In a special valley far, far away. But where? 
asked Koala. Kangaroo continued, my parents, when they were little, went through the valleys and over the hills until they found water in the special valley. They had to dig for the water and dig some more. They finally found water at the bottom of a deep, deep hole. Do you want to go with me to find water? Koala quickly replied, oh yes. Koala was so worried about the drought. Koala was so worried about his tail. Koala's tail never looked so limp and scraggly. Koala kept thinking about how he was so thirsty. Koala said, I need water right now. I need water for my tail to stay beautiful. I'll do anything. Yes, yes, please. Let's go get water in the deep hole in the special valley. Kangaroo cautioned, okay, but it's going to be a very long walk and a lot of work to get the water to drink. Oh yes, I can do it, interrupted Koala. So off the two of them went. They went up, up, up the hills and down into the valleys. They went up, up, up the hills and down into the valleys. They reached a valley, looked around, and Koala asked, I see bushes, so is this the valley? Kangaroo said, but I don't see the tree that my parents told me would be in the special valley where we will dig and dig to get the water to drink. Oh, okay, sighed Koala. They continued to walk up and walk on. They went up, up, up the hills and down into the valleys. They went up, up, up the hills and down into the valleys. Sometimes things don't happen right away. Kangaroo looked around this valley, saying, I don't think this is the special valley either. Are you sure? Could this be the one? Whined Koala. Kangaroo reminded there is a special tree in the special valley where there will be water to drink. Oh, okay, complained Koala. If we want water, we can keep going. I know we can do it, encouraged Kangaroo. They went up, up, up the hills and down into the valleys. They went up, up, up the hills and down into the valleys. Then Right there, in the middle of the valley, there was a tree. Oh, finally, exclaimed Koala. We have water to drink and my tail will look beautiful again. Kangaroo knew there was more to do. 
The two friends, Koala and Kangaroo, walked over to the tree. But where is the water? cried Koala. Now we need to dig in the damp mud over there, explained Kangaroo. If we dig and dig deep enough, and if we dig together, as my parents did long, long ago, we will find the water to drink in this special valley. I'm so tired, complained Koala. If you start the hole and I rest in the shade of the tree, I can help later. The hole will be too small for both of us at first anyway. You did first. I'll help later. Kangaroo was a kind, generous, and understanding friend. Kangaroo knew as he was hopping up, up, up the hills and down into the valleys. Koala had been crawling. Kangaroo comforted Koala. I know that the trips up the hills and down into the valleys were hard for you. I'll dig first. You go lie down, Koala, in the shade of the bamboo trees by the gum tree. Kangaroo went to work. He dug and dug and he threw out the dirt. Kangaroo dug and he dug and he threw out the dirt. Digging? The digging went on and on. Kangaroo was getting tired. Kangaroo called out, Koala, could you come over and help dig? I'm getting tired. Kangaroo called out, Koala, could you come over and help dig? I'm getting tired and I could use your help. If you could take your turn now, please? Kangaroo politely asked. Oh, okay, <gasps> said, Koala said sleepily. Koala had a lovely nap. <laughs> While Kangaroo had been digging, Koala had stroked and brushed his lovely tail while he was sleeping and nibbled on some cool green leaves and the dust from the long trip had been brushed away in the damp shade. Koala thought he perhaps should help but was worried his tail might get dirty again. Koala walked toward his friend, Kangaroo, but stepped on a thorn. Ouch, I hurt my foot, cried Koala. I'd better rub my foot and sit here a while before I help. Could you keep digging? I'm so thirsty and my foot hurts, but look how nice my tail looks now. <laughs> Side. Kangaroo went back to work. He dug and threw out the dirt. He dug and he dug and he threw out the dirt. Kangaroo was even more tired and getting frustrated. Kangaroo called 
out to Koala. Could you please help dig now? Look at how big the hole is getting. I could stay in the hole and, and keep you company for a bit. We could dig together before I take my break. Koala got up and walked toward the hole. But he tripped on his beautiful long tail. Oh, ouch, I sprained my tail, cried Koala. It hurts so, I'd better sit down. I'll come over when it feels better. I'll come soon. Koala sat down and rubbed his tail. Koala brushed and stroked his tail. Kangaroo sighed. Kangaroo remembered the time long ago when he stepped on a thorn. And Kangaroo remembered another time when he sprained his tail. It hurt. Kangaroo took in a deep breath and let it out and went back to work. He dug and he dug and he threw out the dirt. Could you help Kangaroo again too? He dug and he dug and he threw out the dirt. Oh, 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 what is this? Koala bear, look what I found. I found some water, exclaimed Kangaroo. Koala, who had been napping again, stroking and massaging his beautiful long tail, suddenly got up lickety-split. Quickly, as his little legs could carry him, tripping over his tail, stepping on thorn, along the way, Koala pushed Kangaroo out of the hole and greedily drank and drank and slurped up the water. Could you pretend to drink like Koala? He drank and drank and slurped and slurped and slurped up the water. Kangaroo knew, Kangaroo knew how thirsty his friend was and let him have the first turn in drinking the water. <coughs> Koala continued to drink the water, but didn't let Kangaroo have a turn. Koala drank and drank and he slurped and slurped and Koala still wouldn't let Kangaroo have a turn to drink the water. <coughs> Happy Koala's tail waved back and forth. Back and forth. While he was drinking, right in front of Kangaroo's nose, Happy tail on my nose. Ugh. Kangaroo, who is usually mild mannered and very patient, yelled, Enough is enough. <coughs> it's my turn now, Kangaroo shouted. Kangaroo knew from school that he shouldn't push or pull, but he grabbed Koala's tail from in front of his nose, <coughs> gave it a pull. <coughs> and it popped off. Now there was room enough in the hole for the two of them to drink and drink and slurp and slurp until they weren't thirsty anymore. Then Koala noticed his tail was gone, but Koala wasn't hurt. Koala said, I'm sorry for being selfish. Kangaroo was sorry that Koala lost his beautiful, long, 
soft tail. Koala's tail never grew back. It is just a little bump where there once was a beautiful, long, soft tail. Koala and Kangaroo's friendship never quite grew back either. It wasn't the same. And that is the way Koala lost his tail. Kangaroo remained an encouraging friend. Sorry, I forgot to turn the page. And don't forget, you can make up gestures to go with the digging and the hopping and all those things that have little music clips. <laughs>